Happy Sunshine, family. Today is Wednesday, the 31st of January. Yesterday, I had a phone call with Sheila Corona, uh, January 30th, 2018. Very interesting. I was set up to record that with an app on my phone, and it was about an hour and a half phone call, and I was really excited to post that for all of you, and for whatever reason, only 13 minutes and 37 seconds was recorded by that app of that, you know, roughly 90-minute phone call. I'm not quite sure what explains that, but the previous time I attempted to record a phone call with that app uh, with Sheila Corona, only my side of the conversation was recorded. Her side wasn't. These are very strange observations. I've had this app uh, pretty much since I started making Hat J videos. And I've used it to record some two, three, four hour phone calls. And it's worked just perfectly. But when I attempt to record a phone call with Sheila Corona, I, I get errors every time. Very strange. So I wonder, I wonder what's going on behind the veil that explains that. It's very puzzling to me, but I am going to give you the 13 minutes and 37 seconds that I have because I listen to it and, and you can see that we're in a good flow. And it just so happens that right about the time that Sheila Corona starts to describe how the corruption is being exposed in the courtroom, uh, that's about when, <laughs> that's about, that's about when it cuts off. So, you know, I'm just making note of all these observations. I am resisting the temptation to assign a meaning to these observations right now in the moment, but I, they're on my radar for sure. So I'll be back on the other side of this uh, phone call with some closing comments and uh, enjoy. Hey. Hey, Sheila. How are you doing? How are you? I'm doing well. Yourself? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm doing pretty good today. Just catching up on watching some of your uh, your talks with DZ over the last few days. Sounds like it's been really interesting huh? there. <laughs> to say the least, my friend. To say the least. Hold on a second, okay? Sure. I'm going to... Duck out. These two are trying to watch the president, and I don't want to disturb them. Just thought I'd duck into the bathroom where I could hear you over the president. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of, I was kind of hoping that he would be a little more um, forthcoming, but I, I actually. After what's been taking place the last couple of days, I can see that that's not going to happen, actually. So, not not in the way that everybody else is hoping, anyway. And when you say what's happened over the last couple of days, what, what specifically are you referring to? Well, I'm, I'm really, it's more my own observation than what's actually happened, but I've... You know, as a puzzle piece collector, like I told you, I, I it's like I'm I'm seeing a lot of different things fall into place, and I can I can I don't know if it's that I can feel what's happening or if it just makes more sense to me that it's happening in this manner. But I started thinking about what it's like, what it would be like 
for everyone on the planet to find out all at one time that they've been lied to their entire lives. I mean, it's been hard enough and 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 difficult enough for those of us that have had years and years and years of seeking and searching and trying to digest these things. To be thrown into that kind of a state of cognitive dissonance all at once, I don't really see, even if everyone on the planet agreed that this needed to happen, which I'm beginning to suspect is the case, at least, and I think there are some out there that still don't want it to happen, but even if the majority of them did, it would have to be undertaken in a manner that would be, I think, maybe a little slower and more gentle because it would be such chaos. I mean, there's already this idea that of, you know, a concern of the pitchforks and hanging ropes, and that's exactly what Heather said in court today. Oh, wow. Um, she used those words? Oh, yes, she did. Oh, my. Honey, I'm telling you, I I am telling you, I cannot hardly wait for these transcripts to come out because... That's how big, I'm telling you, I I feel like I am stepping, I, I am standing on the edge of forever. <laughs> that's, how, that's how big this thing feels to me. Yeah. It's, it's like, and I, 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 I got chills all over my body right now just trying to explain to you how huge this really is. It is every conspiracy theory that you've ever dreamed of in your entire life coming out all at once. I can't see that anyone would actually allow that, nor would they want that. Not just because of the what would happen to those bad actors. That's like the least of it. It's what would happen to the people who, I mean, I mean, my God, I, 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 I think about these people who don't even know that GMOs are a real thing. And then they're going to find out all at once that their government has been lying to them since before they were born and they've been traded like cattle. You and I know this, but, you know, I just, it's, so I can see where what's being done here, when you and I think of or talk about consciousness, right, mm-hmm. it's a field. And so, you know, it's been referred to as setting templates or, you know, we tone something out into the ethers and now it's out there for the collective to pick up and there's been things that have, you know, people talk about notice in movies and and things like that, but, but just putting it out there, even in a fictional term or whatever, is putting it into the psyche, putting it into the consciousness so that it's available to all of the collective. And I now view what's going on here with this trial as one of the first steps I think there's been lots of first steps over the past decades. Otherwise, those of us who have started waking up to a lot of these things wouldn't have been waking up to them first again. So some of this has already been leaked out into the consciousness. And whether folks knew what they were doing or not, whether they were prompted in this way, that way, or the other way or not, I think that was by design to have this begin to trickle into the consciousness in in whatever way it had to trickle in. 
And now there's still lots of people out here that want to write it off to conspiracy theory or whatever. And those are the ones that I feel that BZ is certain are pulling the covers up over their heads and the pillows down over their faces. But those of us who have been seeking and finding this stuff and then disseminating it amongst each other and those that would listen, we're, we've been called way showers and star seeds and all of these other kinds of things. But from a 3D linear point of view, what I now see that we've been doing is assisting getting it into the general field of consciousness so that as it it starts to leak out into the general mom and pop that knows nothing about GMOs, like I said, consciousness, it's not as shocking or as harsh. It's like, oh, wait a minute. You mean that was, they were serious about that? (laughs) Because it's at least it's in there. You see what I mean? Where when it's a, it's, it's a totally new concept. That's like, I don't know, I, I kind of am comparing this in my mind, not totally, but in a manner of speaking to um, take a, a member of an indigenous tribe that's never, ever, ever seen an airplane. Or, you know, they, they, they have said, okay, wait a minute, this is a better example. They have said that uh, some of the American Indians, uh, uh, when they saw ships, some of them didn't even see the ships because they didn't know what they were. Right. I have heard that. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But if there's not anything, anything in your consciousness about it, then it's harder to understand or it's easier to, okay, um, things like magic, you know, you, a, a lighter to someone who has never seen fire done any other way except for banging two rocks together would seem like magic. You've seen that in movies. Yeah, and the Indians called the uh, rifles thunder sticks. Well, see, this is my point. So if it's not in the consciousness at all, mm-hmm. it's a shock to the system. Yeah. But by Right, but by introducing it into the general consciousness and then it kind of just works its way naturally. Call it hundredth monkey syndrome. Call it whatever, you know, suits the the palatability of, of the person looking at it. But I think that's what part of this trial is because I, I tell you, I've done a lot of thinking about this too. I'm sure you've read and probably even recorded. I haven't had a chance to see anything, not face, I hardly even have been able to look at Facebook or anything else, but much less my YouTube channels that I normally go and look at. So I'm sure you yourself have done either another reading of of Heather's new, I know you've read it yourself if you've not even, if you've not recorded it, of document number 98, the newest press page, where that she tried to submit to the court that he struck down. The one where she's mentioning all about the threat on POTUS and, um, you know, the secret space program and universal cleanup and all of that, right? Yeah, yeah, I I made a video on that. I thought you did. Um, So I've, I've done a lot of thought about that. And... I thought, you know, if if they if anyone because I you know, I've had some comments on my YouTube channel that she's just crazy, she's a Looney Tune and da 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 da. And I've thought about this a lot and I thought, you know what? If there was any kind of inkling that she was a Looney Tune, I cannot see where this case would have been allowed to go forward in the manner in which it was. It would seem to me like they would have already had her committed and in some way, shape, or form 
pushed this case down the road forever to keep it out of the public eye or they would just have buried Randy under the jail already. Yeah, I agree with you. I've, I've, yeah, I've done I've done a lot of thought about this and and the fact that okay, yeah, he's striking these things down, but the fact that she entered them puts them into the public record and the fact that he struck it down puts it in the public record. And the manner in which the US government has conducted this entire case has been so haphazard and so shoddy. I mean, some of the things that have been done, the way this has been handled, clearly, in my mind at least, and I'm sure when you see the transcripts that you're going to agree with me, will just show beyond a shadow of a doubt the corruption and the fraud. And I think there's there is this part of me that cannot get over the fact that I think this may have been done on purpose. Uh what what do you mean by this? Well not that they have done a poor job, but but putting putting well that's pretty much where things got cut off we went all over the place um i'm gonna have to get on a more reliable court recorded line and talk about these things with sheila again we talked about so many observations from the courtroom about uh the The physiological symptoms of lethargy and also needing to go to the bathroom uh, that just were synced up, excuse me, synced up among different people that were present in the courtroom. Uh, even Extraordinary Light 34's uh, report that she posted, uh, I think that was today. Um, so today's the 31st, <laughs> even though that date right there says the 30th, I put that there because that was the date that I actually talked with Sheila. Um, but Extraordinary Light's got some interesting observations from the courtroom as well. I am so excited to get a hold of the transcripts from this trial and going through them like I have with the other transcripts. Um... Thank you all so much for all of your emails and the wonderful high vibrational comments that you're leaving in the comment section. Uh, we'll be back with more as soon as we have it. And uh, let's all ask Grace to hold a healing light and shine that down on all of the souls that are still holding low vibrational energy, low vibrational ideas, and low vibrational behavior. The light has come, and this trial, these hearings, are all about bringing the observations that says this is the age of ascension into the darkest places on the earth plane. And we just ask that that divine plan unfold according to divine will. I love you guys a lot. Bye-bye.